Hi, my name is JT Fusigna, and I'm going to be training you guys on how to make a stretcher. So basically, the situation is, is that you've gone to the hospital, you just dropped off the patient, and now you're going to kind of go to the uh, women's area, and um, then you want to make the stretcher. Um, first off, though, before you do that, you want to make sure that it's cleaned. If the patient has had any type of, you know, disgusting, like vomit or diarrhea or things of that sort, you definitely want to make sure to bleach down the entire thing. There will be bleach wipes at the hospital. Make sure to bleach down just everywhere where the patient could have touched, everywhere where you guys would have touched. Um, but once that's done, then you just want to start off making the stretcher. So um, to do that, make sure that both rounds are down. Make sure that all the buckles, as you can see, are kind of laying on the side there. Um, and make sure the pillow is kind of folded back. And then you want to first off take a blanket. And as you'll see, the blanket kind of unfolds like this. And if you can see here, there's a line going down the center. Crease. The line. And um, you want to make sure that goes directly in the center of the stretcher, like so. Then you want to take a uh, sheet. And again, it'll have the same type of folding. So. Um, so again, you can see the crease fold in the center there. It's a little bit hard, harder to see, but um, yeah. So make sure that goes in the center as well. And just kind of lay it down like that. Uh, next part is you want to kind of take the rest of this stuff and fold it under. So to do that, it's a little bit tricky here. You grab the edge of the blanket that's underneath the sheet, and you grab it like this. And then if you kind of lift up, the sheet will fold under like so. Um, and then you'll kind of have a nice edge there. Next, you want to take one side. So we're going to take this side. And you want to put your hand here right on the edge of the stretcher here. So as to provide like a thing to fold over. Um, and then you want to fold over like this. And then you want to take this side. All right, on three, one, two, three. Do a little flip over like this, that gives a nice crease here. And then you want to fold this in half, like this. Next, because there's a little bit more here, you want to fold this in half one more time. And then now you're done with one side. Now, when, you want to, when you're taking a patient, you'll be able to take this side and just kind of pull it out. And it'll flip down like this so you can lay the patient in. And then just roll this over and it will kind of keep them in a nice cocoon. Um, but then you want to do the next side, so on three, one, two, three. over and fold in half. Um, it's nice if you can communicate with your partner. It makes the whole process go a little bit smoother. Um, but that's kind of how you do it. Uh, then the next part is to put your hands up and uh, buckle the stretcher up. So like I'm doing here, you want to make sure that it's pretty much tight as it can be. Then you want to take it and you have this like extra piece here. You want to fold it in half. And if it needs to, you can fold it in half again, but um, this one's fine like it is, and you just want to kind of tuck it under the uh, strap like that. And um, so like they did here, the last part is to take a pillow, or second to last part, is um, to take a pillowcase and put it on top of the pillow here. Um, we, at Stanford Hospital sometimes, they don't have pillowcases, so you can as well use a towel. Drape it over like this, hold it under here, and that way it'll still provide a covering for the pillow. Last, last thing is to take a blanket or two and lay it at the very end of the stretcher. That way, after you kind of wrap the patient up for when you get the patient the next time, um, you can put another blanket over them just to make sure that they're completely warm. Um, and you may want to grab some extra linens to fill the linens compartment in the ambulance. Um, and then after that, you just want to put the stretcher in the ambulance. Thank you, JT.